Greetings from the Cyber Realm. I'm Cyber, bring you another episode of Mega Man Battle Network 6. For some reason, that intro screen seemed to take longer than usual. Anyway, yeah, I need to get this finished, so let's continue. Well, I've been doing this all for myself from the very beginning. Now, I'll hand over the Side Beast power. Roadman, don't do what he says. Why would you tell Roadman that? Cut Colonel down where he stands. Right. Mega Man, leave this to me. I fought him once before at the Judge Street Comp. Bring this to an end here, right now. You should jack out and get some rest. No. What? Proto Man, you want me to fight Colonel, right? But that won't solve anything. Fighting is meaningless. So please, let me talk with him. You're too soft, even at a time like this. Colonel, please stop it. You're not your usual self. There's gotta be some reason you joined World 3. I don't have anything to say to you. I'm just a member of World 3, nothing more. That's a lie. You're lying! You don't understand me at all. I don't care what I have to do or how evil I have to be. As long as I complete my mission successfully. I am not kind like you. Why did you hold back just now? Back? That's right. Heatman was very weak just now. One of your attacks could have deleted him. But you didn't. No, you couldn't. You hesitated, didn't you? Yeah. You wouldn't be ch changing into some evil that easily. You're one annoying little talker. I'm gonna silence that flapping mouth of yours. Colonel, why are you lying to yourself? He's going to attack, Mega Man. Get ready. It's not the type to listen to words. Be gone, Mega Man. Colonel! Ah! Proto Man! Why? Don't get in my way. You're st still the same. You must get rid of that kindness. If you don't, the world will fall into <coughs> his hands. You must stop him. Proto Man! Len, it's just like Proto Man said. You must get rid of that kindness. Those two are not the barrel and colonel you once knew from Battle Network 5. But, but, something's not right! Barrel, can you hear me? Why do we have to fight? I think it's quite easy to understand. You're in my way. Naturally, I must remove you to finish my mission. I. No! That's all I have to say. You can say whatever you want, but it won't stop me. If you want to try, you can with your Mega Buster. Eh. <sighs> Land, do it! If you don't stop him now, there won't be a future for anyone. I understand. That words can't get through to you. We're gonna make the two of you wake up no matter what. Let's go, Mega Man! Okay. Battle routine set. Execute. Yes, that's right. It's time, Colonel. I will not lose. And he loses anyway. Do do. Yeah, I'm not gonna fall for that. Ouch! You gotta do better than that. Yeah, he will summon his minions to your side of the field. It's kind of a wake-up call if you're not paying attention. Oops. Ouch. Not me to do that. Time bomb two. Fight. Ouch. It's 
kind of hard to predict what kind of sword move he'll use. But he's easy target for your chips. I don't know why he keeps stopping so much. Just for the fun of it, I'll finish him off as a beast. He's easy target for your uh, beast buster. That raw destructive power is all you need to defeat him. Six thousand zenny. Nice. Urgh. You had to use that power against me. How could you? Oh. Colonel. What's that face for? You were the winner. Don't say that. Whoa. Don't come near me. I don't need your compassion. Ah. Colonel, why? I've had enough. Beryl, why does it have to be like this? What do you want me to say? No matter what, we are destined to fight each other. And you won. That's all there is to it. Destined? I get it. Beryl and Colonel, you two are doing this for no reason. What? You said you understood why we have to fight. That's not what I'm talking about. You said it was destiny. But that's not what I was asking. What I wanted to know, if it was your own will. I wanted to ask you if you really wanted to join World 3. And if you really, of your own will, wanted to fight me. That's what I was asking. But you just told me that it was your... You were so focused on destiny that you've thrown your will away. Huh? Beryl, open your eyes. My own will, huh? It's been so long since... That I've forgotten what it really is. Looking at you, I can see how dirty I've become. Beryl, live by your own will. And I've been hoping for someone to tell me that. It's not too late. You can quit World 3, Beryl. I can't do that. But why? I can't quit. Not right now. Beryl, there's a favor I have to return. Stand up, Colonel. Wait, Colonel. I cannot afford to let you stop me. I will take my leave. Goodbye, Mega Man. Oh, okay, he just faded. Colonel. In the end, after we talk about Will, Beryl and Colonel disappeared into the underground's darkness. We have to watch over and protect our Will. Even when it seemed hopeless, my Will kept me going. What is he, like, telling the story after? That night, news of the mayor's arrest spread throughout Cyber City. People couldn't believe it and were confused. Even worse, the fact that the expo's sponsor was in a scandal where rumors that this, the expo wouldn't be held. Ah, Blackbeard was arrested along with the mayor. And our Cybeast trump card is gone. Now what? What do you think? We carry on with the th just the three of us. But what's our next move? Hmm, uh... Yeah! The problem is, getting a side beast! So are you saying we should capture Mega Man again? Nah, I've got a better idea. This time, we're gonna steal the one World 3 has. Huh? World 3? But Beryl and Colonel are at World 3. And I don't want to fight them. Ha ha ha! I know their weakness! They have a weakness? Yes, they do! When I was stealing the Force program, I remember this one thing. When Colonel had a chance to attack Lan Hakari, he couldn't do it. He looked like he couldn't hurt the girl that came to help the kid. That girl is our key. We can find that girl and use her as a hostage. Hold it. Do you think, do you know where that girl is? I sorta of know. I got some people looking for her. And also, today when Mega Man was going nuts here, that same girl showed up and saved the kid again. So it's safe to say that they probably know each other. So, I see. So if we tell Lan, we should bump into our two. That sounds like a plan. Good. Then it's decided. 
look at that girl, and then use her as to get World 3 side beast. Great. Like, yay. It's willing. To think, even Colonel was defeated. I did not expect things to turn out like this. But my plan was to continue to move forward. I am a... A certain thing will happen tonight. If it is successful... <laughs> plan, Mega Man, come to me. Ah, it will be just like that one time. The end of the world is here. <laughs> Ow. The laughing so much hurts my throat! With the control system, it's out of my grasp. She had better come back soon. According to my calculations, we can move shortly. Who's he talking to? Ah, uh, he's just talking to himself. No! Don't worry about him. After school, a few days after the fight with Colonel. Hey, Len, you know why Mr. Mock is coming to school? Oh, I wanted to know why too. Len, do you know something, don't you? I don't know anything. Mr. Mox probably got a problem he's got to deal with. Ah, huh, is that right? I can't just tell him Mr. Mox is a part of World 3. What was that? Oh no. Hi! And how is everyone today? You guys, you're the X-World 3 people that joined up with the mayor, right? X-World 3? Stop calling us that! We're our very own crime organization now, thank you. Our name is... All together now? You... What? What? What's with you? I thought we agreed on my name. Just what's so lovely about us? That's so girly. And since we're, and since we're you the leader, I'm superior to all of you. Therefore, it's only natural. You guys can't do anything, so I'm just giving you a hand. You should be bowing to me and calling me Queen Yuka. Um, we're in the middle of a mission, so please calm down. After all, we the Justice Club have to act as a team. Not very justicey if you're not actually on the force of justice. Yuka's Lovelace! Cloudy Bombers! I don't care what your team aim is. What do you want? Oh yeah, that's right. I almost forgot why we came here. Lan Hikari, we came to ask you a few questions. Questions? That's it? Yep, yep. Where's your little girlfriend? Girlfriend? Do they mean Meilu? You know? You know? The girl who saved you this from Colonel in Skytown. You mean Iris? I don't know what you're up to, but I'm not going to tell you where she is, because I don't even know. Just as you, just as we thought. You won't answer. I figured you would make this easy. I don't like usually to be rough with people, but judge man. Sir. What? 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 Greentown's punishment robots? But, but why are they here? Ah! <laughs> you know, even if there are more of you, do you really think you can fight this many robots and save your friends? You're not gonna make fools of us this time! No, you wouldn't have. You wouldn't see your friends get hurt, would you? So hurry up and tell us where the girl is. I don't know where she is. I already told you that. Maybe the punishment bro, I can gently help you remember. Uh, Ow, that's really hurting my eye there. Those sealed lips of yours might be a little, a little looser now. I guess you really don't know. Punishment robot, stop! Ugh. Land! Land! But how can you not know? Oh well, it doesn't matter. I'll just take Mega Man again if you don't mind. Hold it! Don't you light your finger on land. We'll protect land with everything we have. Oh, I'm 
I'm so touched by their friendship that I'm crying. But not really, because I was being sarcastic. Punishment robots, give these boys what they deserve. Stop! I am here. Let the others go. How nice. The girl comes out of hiding all by herself. All right, Curly. You're coming with us. Punishment robots. Don't try anything, any fu funny business or you'll get hurt. I will not resist. So please remove these robots. And if I say no, punishment robots, please step aside. What? What are you doing? You're not supposed to move on your own. Hurry up and surround her. What's with them? Uh, I just like Iris. She's so awesome. Lan, I'm sorry. Alright, I'm ready to go. Ugh, you're the type of person I hate the most. You're so full of courage. Yeah! Uh. Lan, are you okay? Where are they? Well, um... What? Iris got what? Sorry, Lan. We couldn't do anything. Doesn't matter. We gotta go help her now. Uh, so do we have a clue as to where they went? We don't know, Lan. They could be anywhere by now. Yeah. Oh, hey! Ah, uh, never mind. What? Did you think of something? No, it's just that, well... Running out of time, Tab. Spit it out. I don't know if this is a clue or anything, but on the internet, there's this BBS that's got all sorts of info. Or at least that's what I heard. Most of the stuff is about pretty bad things, so I was wondering if maybe you could find something there. Of course. The internet BBS. That's an internet too, with that skull. It's so obvious. I'm sure I'll find something there. I'm gonna take, go take a look. But, but the, the internet is dangerous. I can't sacrifice Iris' life because it's dangerous. I'll be alright. I'll get her back. Land. Alright. But be careful, okay? Well, let's see if we can actually do something. I won't actually travel to the internet just yet. I want to see if that person will actually uh, repay the, the loan we gave him now. And he was in this com comp here. Yes, we're gonna get sidetracked again. Cause I wanna finish these requests. Oh yeah. That wasn't even a battle. I was like, I'm gonna kill you with two chips. Thanks to you, this is back in action. I can even pay back the 10,000 zen you lent us. Just like I said, I'll pay you 10 times the 10,000. Mega Man got 100,000 zennies. If I can make a new PET widget, it would be awesome. Check out. So we got our money back, plus tenfold. Which is awesome. But I'm going to go back to the mayor's room. Because I missed something the last time I was in here. It's an expensive tea set. It'd be, it would look fancy to any guest. There's something sparkly under the sofa. Land got reg up one. Regular memory increased by one in B. We can also check around. Ooh. Let's go snooping in the computer. Let's go snooping in the computer. Aha! That's what I was looking for. HP plus 400. That's where I got it from. Unfortunately, we can't exactly fit, fit it in our little grid yet. It'd be kind of cool to do this. Well, can't do that with that. And then shove the 400 right there. 
But unfortunately, we're unable to do that right now. Oh look, new enemies, which are quickly gonna d die because of the uh, program events that we know. Double delete! And we still get Zenny anyway. Aha! HP memory! Nice! I was looking for more of that too. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> ah, hell. I'm immune to aesthetic effects. Athletic chances to stun me or whatever that's supposed to do have failed. Anyway, I want to talk to Mr. Frog with the last thing. This is the principal's office computer. The head of this office is none other than Mayor Kane. What? Mayor Kane has been arrested? Ha ha ha! No kid with me! Um, but it's official. Oh well. Tune in again for more Mega Man Battle Network 6.